We're going after, I think, <laughs> I think it's a vampire or massive vampires. So everything you see here, we're going to want to take. I only used like uh, two or three cameras last time and I didn't mm -hmm. really get a chance to use the traps out in the open. I used a bottleneck on uh, some of the buildings, but I'll run you through what it is that I've seen pretty quick so you can play catch up. But I don't know if you want to grab this stuff because it can get some more other things uh, further down the way and I can get these from up here too. Right, so we got some... I'll take one of those, so you've got another 15. Another camera, and another trap. What did you get down there? I got, um, two cameras and two traps. Okay, did you grab the, uh, just come up top here a second? Come and grab the silver bullets. Oh, <laughs> instant transmission, so, there you go. I know, right? Where were where, where the silver bullets at? Just behind you on the floor, in the little sack. You see them? Oh, they're there. I always remember that uh -huh. as well from Night of the Wendigo. Oh, now, if you look at my right leg, do you see that what looks like in uh, a 1911? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It'd be so nice, wouldn't it, if you could just quick switch to that after, you, after you're out of your rounds with your, uh, your lever action. It'd be so good. So I don't know how much of Night of the Wendigo you remember, but this map is four times larger than that one. And really? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, the speed of the uh, day and night cycles. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's super fast in this game, so <laughs> um, everything happened at night time to me. There was one instance during the day, but I didn't really get to see the creature much or creatures. Yeah, so people have been going missing in the village mm -hmm. and we don't know what's taking them. Based off what I've been doing, a little bit of investigation, I'm thinking it's possibly vampires, but... The only thing that I've been able to do so far is find certain areas where I need these purification salts to cleanse these like sarcophagi, uh, sarcophagus, sarcophagi, sarcophaguses. I don't know what you would call the floor <laughs> level, but these these basically massive like stone, um, what would you call them? You know what I mean? Like a like a big old place. Sarcophagi. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, look, we got we, we got we got loads of blood. Look how they're living though. Like the last the last Wendigo map. It wasn't this old, was it? Yeah, this is like Viking. Right? Is... Like medieval times and stuff. Yeah. Oh, also, I do want to address something. A lot of people in the previous video was like, I can't believe he missed the garlic. I didn't. <laughs> I definitely saw it, but just because that was there doesn't necessarily mean it was a vampire. Because you guys saw what we thought was a vampire, then you can be like, oh, yeah, well, obviously the garlic's there. Well, it clearly didn't stop it, did it? <laughs> Look. Look at this. Got blood here. We got blood Came here right too. In. And I think in some of the other ones as well. Yeah, if you come around this way. One, one thing I have a problem with this family that lived here. They really need to mow their bedroom. Yeah, that's disgusting, isn't it? It's letting the grass creep through the wood like that. Filthy Vikings. Right, let's go to this one. Yeah, that one over there is where I found the, uh, the pickaxe that we need to break down the purification salts in the caves. What else we got? Yeah, I don't think apart from this area with all the houses here, I don't think there's too much else going on. So anything that we're going to find is probably going to be in or around the houses, which is uh, the next one along. If you want to go and grab it, the pickaxe. In this one right here, this. Uh, yeah, the long the one. House. That's the one. Yep. So just outside the front, there's like a number two on the door. You see that? Oh yeah, right here. And then on the left side, there's the pickaxe. So what that lets us do is when we go up to the cave, which is uh, I think it's the southwest. We can uh, grab some purification salts from the rocks that are inside the cave. I don't okay. think there's anything else that we can take. Yeah, right. Let's make a move then towards this side up here because you follow this road round and it leads you to a mine. Hence the clue here. <laughs> and uh, some people have kindly left some dynamite behind so we can blow open the cave that we need the purification salts from. Convenient. Yep. There's different like jump scares or suspense sounds in the game now <laughs> just to give you a heads up, okay? Because I know you don't like that kind of stuff. So yeah, just be Oh boy. Just just <laughs> just be ready to <laughs> no, go. I'm on edge. Yep. I'm already on edge now. I'm just waiting for the audio cues too. Alright, we got another box. Uh one battery, cool. I can drop the batteries too, right? I think there was a way we could do it with the Wendigo. I don't even remember. Oh, I brings up inventory, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I've dragged all my stuff onto the hot bar just in case we need it. And there's no boxes, but this section here. I'll let you do this one because I did it last time so you can kind of experience what you have to do and stuff. All right. So what am I doing here? So this section this here. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look inside. Okay. 
You got some TNT. There you go. Oh, you actually do pick it up then. I didn't know if I could get some too. Right, so now we've got the TNT. I went straight across towards the west from this location. If you hold your map, or hold M to open your map. You see that point straight across there? And that took me to some like weird area where that's where I've had my first interaction. But if we go okay. all the way back past the village and then down southeast, I think that's the cave that I blew open. I got a little bit turned around, so... Let's okay. just keep heading that way. Now, chances are, dude, we're going to see or experience the creature at some point during this. I don't think, at least, that the uh, the bullets that I, I hit it with last time really did anything. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to, like, you know, keep them off us. Second thing, they can transform or morph into bats to move. Like, in oh, the click of a finger, boy. yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> These are, it's a whole different ball game with these things than the Wendigo. The Wendigo is super aggressive. You heard it coming in. With these things, it's more like they stalk you from the tree line and then they just overpower you with their size and speed. Oh, sound drain. That bass. Yep. That bass. Oh, I remember that now. I feel like it's going to come wait, wait, from behind. Wait, wait, stop. Yeah, so if you hold Q, you're able to basically focus in on where the sound's coming from if you look in a certain direction. And you get like a visual indicator sometimes as well, which is really helpful. Oh god, this is horrible. We're going really deep into the thick here now. Right, let's yeah, let's just get across this double time. Oh, let's get across this double time. I keep getting those really weird sound cues, like the uh, the jump scary stuff. Oh, Mine just popped in too. <laughs> I, I, I seem to get them right after, like about five seconds after you. Something really weird in this game too. The audio has got like a, a little bit of a delay on it. So when you step, it almost sounds like the steps are coming from behind you. So I'm going to stand still a second tag. We'll just walk in a straight line and listen to it. Oh yeah. I, I, I was, that's why I kept turning around Dude. and then I'd, get, I'd fall behind every time. In the last video, I was so paranoid that something was behind me the entire time. <laughs> oh, we gotta go this way. You wanna go this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Bottom, right? So, whatever it takes to get to the uh, the bottom of the map, the bottom corner of that map. So, this is kind of what we're dealing with. These, like, old churches with graves outside the front of them. This is just basically the entire area where these creatures are using as a feeding ground. But inside, you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It has runes on it, or it has, like, some kind of writing on it. If you come, okay. Yeah, if you come around the back, you'll see. And then if you actually press E on it, it'll ask you to require or use the salts of purification. Now, I did that, but I didn't do it to all of them. So we'll do that right now. Let's head across towards the west while we still got a little bit of daylight so we can get some of that stuff. We can basically take shelter in the, uh, in the cave too. Is that a fresh grave? It is, isn't it? There you go. Make sure you run away as soon as you plant it. Oh, yeah, go! <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to say anything to you because I think you picked up the uh, pickaxe. So head inside. There's nothing in there apart from what we need. So, oh. Okay. Oh, dude, turn around. Turn around. Face the way I'm facing. You'll see like a sound, uh, a heads up thing. Oh, it's just gone away. It's like a like a radar. You see it if you hold Q in that direction. Do you see them? They're over in that way. Come inside the cave. They might come in. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we can put like meat down on this trap. I don't know if there's any animals around or they've already been Here. eaten by these things. You got a knife? Uh, prick, prick, prick my finger and I'll put some blood oh, on nice. it. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Bleed them in. That'd be a cool mechanic. Just seen like a little animation of the character pricking his finger just to get the scent of blood in the air. Like a great oh, white shark. <laughs> Dang you game. What? Dang you audio. Scared me. <laughs> so press just... tab and have a look at the uh, the actual camera movement and stuff. You've got night vision. It's quite difficult to see, but it does the trick when you see the creature. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're right inside. Here they are. What? <laughs> Did you hear it? I heard it. 
Careful. Step outside. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> this is <stupid> game. <laughs> that was just I stepped out a gong. Or a gong. <laughs> you, you got a suspense sound cue? <laughs> oh, my. Uh. oh, there we go. I just got it too. Hello? We'll be able to get some answers now. We start cleansing these uh, these places. This one's actually a really cool spot as well. Like, look, you can see it's not on the map. Got little things like this. We've got some skulls, an open grave. Looks, looks like we have some crypts as well, but the uh, the business is in this thing here. So if you want to head inside. It's in the chapel. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that what you call them? A chapel? Yeah, because it's, it's, uh, it's quite small, isn't well, it, for a I church? Mean, well, this is basically a crypt because it's a building built Oh, that's right. Yeah, us, that but... makes sense. There you go. Right, so if you hold E, there you go. So you've cleansed one. Now, the runes didn't light up or anything. I cleansed it twice. It does use two of the salt as well, so I did check that last time. Yeah, there's nothing that you can pick up from the graves. I hate those statues. The freakiest shit. What does this say? Keep on hitting you. There you go. It's cleansed. Right, so if we just stay inside here a second and work out where our next move is. So we've done those two. I guess it is a matter now of just finding where else we have to cleanse, right? Because the top bit was the mine. The bottom right was the cave. Bottom left was... Oh, no, we need to head bottom left. Bottom left. Yep, yep. That's the one on top of the hill, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I did, I did do this one as well, but there's got to be another one somewhere. Oh. You get... Oh. <laughs> Is it getting your heart going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that, that gong when it just hits you out of nowhere. It's yep. Oh, no. Taco? Still no sign of Taco, but I'm hoping he's okay. We were kind of together there, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he just wasn't there. So I'm hoping he's going to turn up. He knows which route I was headed to, so if he is still out there somewhere, he should be coming over here. Right, let's see what we can find. Plenty of battery left in my torch. We did check this house. What time is it? It's going on 5.30 now. Yeah, maybe the windmill. Yeah, because I know I couldn't get up there last time. Nothing out front. Don't think we can do anything inside of here either. Some garlic over there. Can I take that? Oh, pick up the garlic. Nice. Okay, so do I want to assign that? What actually happens? Causes bad breath and may repel your loved ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. I didn't actually know we could pick that up. At least we got some of it, though. Can I pick this up? Oh, you can pick this up, too. Okay, so you can pick this one up, but not this one. This is more of a decoration one. So let's go ahead and grab that. What happens if we... Oh, you can place it down to stop them going in places. Makes sense. Have I not been inside this house? Nope. Oh my god! I don't know if you got... I don't know if you guys caught that. Can I pick this back up? Yes. I'm just going to place that there for a second. Oh, wait. Is that thing still there? I'm just going to leave that there for now with that one too. I heard footsteps behind us. Can we...
keep thinking I'm seeing something in the trees, and I don't know if it is actually something in the trees, like a silhouette of the creature. Or my brain's are just, just playing tricks on me because I'm trying to train myself to look for them. Right. It's really freaky, yeah. though. <laughs> a combination of both, probably. Yeah. Super, super freaky. Like, I think I'll see just, like, the head and the shoulders and the arms. And I'll take a second glance and nothing's there. All right. So, we're just going to use as many of the salts as we possibly can to see if something happens. Because wherever we've checked, there's no other spots that we can cleanse. At least that we've found, anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we go. Let's cleanse away. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, probably not that, right? Let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, I use like <laughs> I used a ton of them. Let's just use another four more. One, two, three, four. You think uh, maybe if I put garlic on it? <gasps> oh, yeah. Give that a go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I had to get it. <laughs> I didn't get you on Halloween. I didn't see you on Halloween, so I had to get you. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do it. I got my hands up. You just can't see. Oh, yeah. That's the big guy. Okay. I'm falling back. <laughs> oh yeah, he's coming. He's coming, Taco. I'm stuck. I'm oh, stuck, yeah. stuck on trip. <laughs> Taco, <laughs> so we're supposed to be so the, the most elite hunters in the world. I am, I'm super elite. I, I play. I play <laughs> the timid one. So they come after me. That's all. <laughs> I'm about to do that. Okay. So as far as we know, we've cleansed everything. That we're able to, but if anything else comes up, we'll definitely be sure to show you guys. For now, though, I think this is where we're going to end. If you guys are enjoying Folklore Hunter, drop a like below. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And we'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.